What's up guys? Beagler Outdoors here again for part two of this series of my concealed carry gun holster slash belt. Pretty much my gun and what I carry. Today what we're going to talk about is one of the best Kydex holsters you can get on the market. The Kydex holster that um, I use is called a tier one concealed. Okay, and before I get into that, I want to tell you guys if it's the first time you've ever been here, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to our channel and like. When you like, it puts us in the algorithm of all the videos of people that want to watch so gun owner videos can come up forward um, in the algorithm. And you know how things are in this country and time we're in. So um, it will put us up there. People can actually see a lot of the things available for the Second Amendment and protect our rights and have our guns. So here we go. Tier 1 Concealment. Uh, it's tier1concealed.com and I will put uh, a link right up here of scrolling through their website which will pop up now. Um, this is pretty much their website and things they sell on their website and stuff like that. Uh, it's all Codex holsters and all the parts of the Codex holsters. Codex holster I use is called the Aegis Slim. Okay. This holster will run you about $129 on their website. Uh, before I get into this actual holster, they have two kinds of holsters, okay? They have the Aegis Slim and the Aegis Elite, um, the two I considered. The Aegis Slim pretty much has this rope in here, and it's thinner, and it flexes with your body. Uh, I'll put a picture of that up there. And they also have the Aegis Elite, which I will put a picture up in here too. And basically, it has these rivets in here, kind of like these rivets, and it kind of holds it more tighter. Excuse me. <coughs> Outside, allergies. Got the fire going, what are you gonna do? Um, but like I said, it's the tier one concealment, Age of Slim is what I use. And what I use to put in this, and then I've done a video on the actual firearm, so if you guys wanna see a video on the firearm I use, there'll be a link up here. Uh, it'll be sliding around up top somewhere you can click on it, but uh, it holds the FN Tactical 509 Tactical. And as you can see, it's 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 made, when you order this Age of Slim, um, first of all, before I get to the gun going in, there's a lot of customization you can do to it. You can order different kinds of clips you can order a different front and a different color back what i have is the blaze orange because i have a habit of putting stuff down in the woods and i can't find it so i have a blaze orange back if ever i took it off the p or something i had to put it down i could lay it down and be able to see it and i did the carbon fiber in the front um you can do like ghost skulls they have so many options for stuff man just different pictures on it and stuff like that um so you could pretty much you tell them what kind of gun you have like for instance okay I have the FN 509, okay, FN 509, and it has a Trigicon RMR, okay, and it has the TLR 7A Streamlight on it. Now, when you fill out your stuff for Tier 1 Concealer, they're going to ask you what you have, because this is fit for your gun. You can't just buy this and put any gun in it. Kydex is fit for your gun, okay? There's a whole process on it. If you look online, you can see how to make Kydex holsters and stuff. I looked into it, it's just not worth the money you're saving for the quality you're getting from tier one, okay? Now, um, so basically, and they mold it to fit everything. So my gun, it's all molded and it's before the snowflakes cry, it's unloaded, it's unloaded, okay? Um, dry fire. Um, it's meant to fit your gun. See, it's shaped with everything, from the light and everything, it is shaped, see the light would go right about here, look and it clicks in, all right? That ain't falling out, all right? And I got the extra spot to hold an additional magazine. So in my case, well, I think I got it backwards. Yeah, okay. That's how I would hold mine or vice versa. I try not to carry with it like that and the smaller one in because the reason being is that um, it's, the dish just sticks out too far and it prints too much. So I'm normally the kind of guy who I'd like to get two of these to put in there. This is a 17 round. So I usually keep the 17 round in there and I usually keep that in there and that's how I hold it. And it's pretty good. I mean, it holds everything. I mean, nothing's falling out. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, but back to the holster. Uh, this holster will run you 
$129, okay? And that's for all the customizations you do, customiz customizing, tongue twister, uh, customizing you do. And one thing about I like about these is it has this piece right here. And what this piece does is it pushes up against your belt and it pushes it in so you don't print as much, okay? So you can order them with or without your magazine or you can take this off, it actually comes off, okay? And you could wear this separately. For a while, I wore this without this because it was just too heavy, but I'm gonna tell you something, man. You need this on here because when you don't have this on here, this part goes down and this part just chafes at you. I mean, it it hurts. So it's even if you're not gonna carry an extra magazine, it's just better to wear it like this, okay? And now another thing too, when you order one of these, you have to pick all your options, okay? This is a high rise, okay? You have the mid rise and the low rise. That's basically how much of your gun is protected in the back, okay? How much, it's a sweat guard. It's how much is actually touching your body. I like it all the way through because if you go to pull your gun, you're not catching anything on there, especially if you have a belly, all right? And the good thing about, just get it, get it this big. And then if you don't like it, just trim it down because you can't add to it, you can trim down. So you always wanna trim down, all right? So that's how I got mine. Now, if, since my FN 509 is, is, is equipped for a silencer, okay? If you wanna put a linear on it, if you're gonna put a linear on your gun, a linear compensator, you have to tell them before they make your holster. I wanted to put a linear comp, but I can't now because it's not made for linear comp. See, the gun fits right in, there's no room. It would have to be more squared out. So you have to make sure you email them and tell them you plan on putting a linear comp. And honestly, get it squared out for linear comp anyway, because it's not gonna hurt if you don't have linear comp on. It's gonna hurt when you wanna put one on and you can't. See, now I can't. So I'd have to either send it back, have them heat it up and fix it for a linear comp, or I would have to order another holster, okay? So make sure if you're gonna put a, I would just honestly get it tall, okay, full, and I would get it for a linear comp. Because all the linear comp is, it's just a, a bigger hole here. And it's not gonna hurt you if you don't have a linear comp. So in the future, you have the option to put a linear comp on. I don't have the option now because I forgot to tell them. Kind of bummed about that. My fault, you know, I wasn't thinking. But like I said, this holster is very light. You're looking at about $129. The Aegis Elite, the one that has the little tabs in here, it's not as, it's a little bit wider. That's why they call this the Slim. And that one runs you about $134.99. Uh, I have a, probably a link up there for that. Um, but this is, a, I think this is one of the best holsters on the market. I've tried all the kits you build, all the different holsters and tier one concealment. They are tier one, tier one. They are a top shelf, man. And honestly, I paid for this. So I get to talk crap about it if I don't like it. They didn't give this to me for free. I'm not sponsored, okay? So I get to talk crap if I don't like it. There's nothing to talk about, man. The only thing is the shipping, man. It took like, I think two months because they make each one. It's the only thing about them, but you pay for quality. Good things come to those who wait. Remember that, okay? But this, I mean, this thing is just quality. It is built with quality. And you could actually, you could adjust these, take these bolts out, you could adjust them down, up, just to fit you wherever you want to fit it. Now, to show you how it fits, oh, love it. So, let's put it on. Let's take the gun throw it in there okay and I'm gonna put the magazine in and we'll put the other magazine in with it okay how does it fit <sighs> love it we'll get into a video on the belt but for now oh so you have this piece here which sits on the belt and it pushes you in right? and that all right love it so basically when I'm walking around it's kind of what you get can't tell I have nothing. I mean, a little bit of printing, but if you had the extended on here, you have some printing out. That's the reason why I don't, because what happens is if you do, we'll swap it around, okay? When you, I have another one here. Say you wanted to wear both. Now you got some, a good way to print because, okay? And now you got that 
So if you take that out, you're only up to here. So that's why I don't carry that full mag. I just carry a smaller mag in there. And you could hold it up and you could, your gun draws right out, okay? Excuse the belly, I'm fat. And you can go right in. Remember, when you're doing this, so you don't shoot your balls off, that's how you do it, okay? Number one, I have nothing in the pipe anyway, but when you put it back in, you never go like this. That's a good way to shoot off your Johnson. You go like this, okay? Take it, follow it back in. That's how you put it, and that's how you wear it, okay? And take it off, you get in your truck. I wear mine all the time, but it pops off real easy. All right? Excuse the belly. I'm a fat guy, so what can I do about it? But like I said, tier one concealed. I really like it, man. It's a really, really good holster. I mean, it's really quality, man. They even have the embossing on there of, of the, you know, the tier one. They send, it comes in a bag. They send you like a really nice bag which you never use, but it's in your nice bag. And it's quality. It's Kydex. I got the carbon fiber front, which I don't think it's real carbon fiber. I think it's just printed carbon fiber. If it was carbon fiber, you would see the, you'd see the, the fibers all the way through. I'm not sure about that. I can't lie to you and tell you if it is or not, but I like mine. They have different looks. Go check them out. Tier one concealed. Um, like I said, this Aegis is 129. They, uh, this is the Aegis Slim. They have the Aegis Elite, which I had put a link up before. That's 134.99. All right, highly recommended this holster. And this is probably part two of my videos that I'm doing of my everyday carry. Like I said, this is for the FN 509. Okay, how it pretty much looks with a light. And I mean, it is. Besides that, not being in. It just feels good, man. It's like, it just feels good. It's just, gotta love it. it. Doesn't come out. I mean, it doesn't come out. Gotta love it. So any questions, uh, let me know. I will have links in the bottom to tier one concealed. I'll have links to this holster here. And remember to pick your options. Remember when you go down your options, your sweat guard, okay? Linear comp hole. Um, definitely, and they do make spacers that go in the back. I don't need them, but this is it, man. Any questions, email me. Email stuff down there. It's meaglerbassfishing at gmail.com, and I can answer any questions you have. I don't have any um, any kind of discount codes because, like I said, I bought it myself, and the reason why I do reviews on stuff that I bought because I could talk crap. If I don't like it, I could say, hey, I don't love this, okay? Um, you know, when you're sponsored by people, which I'm not, because I choose really not to go to sponsor route, because you have to, even if you don't like something, you have to kind of say you do, so you get the free stuff, but why would you want free junk? Have no idea. But um, like I said, great holster. Um, any questions that you guys have about it, shoot me an email, and I'll be able to get with you on it. Once again, thanks for watching. Beagle Outdoors, out. Thank you.